let's talk forts and motorsport not necessarily the bugs or the glitches or anything like that but more about accessibility as many of you know forts and motorsport actually won the accessibility award at the game awards 2023 and also many of you may remember seeing an advertisement about a visually impaired gentleman who was able to make laps around a track without falling off. So I wanted to discuss and actually showcase, is it possible to drive a car in Forza Motorsport completely blind? Stay tuned. This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and like I was saying before, let us discuss accessibility options. So we go over to the accessibility tab. Today we're going to be focusing on mainly audio cues. So again, it's amazing to see all these kind of visual assistants that we have here, whether it be a colorblind mode, subtitles, screen narration, in race activity feeds, and then now we're starting to get to the audio stuff. We don't actually need audio descriptions detailing on scene cinematic stuff, so we'll leave those off. So here's the meat and potatoes of today's video, the blind driving assists. We're going to be doing a test drive, so there's no car collisions. Don't need to worry about that. But I have turned on, turned on a steering guide, turn navigation, turn cues, deceleration cue, track limits and that's about it of course as you can tell the other options are runway shift up shift down gear indicator and ai takeover cues so let's i'll show you kind of what you're going to be listening to if you want to be attempting to drive a car completely blind so we'll start our race here So I'm going to stop the car here so you can so it can break down each noise that you're going to be hearing. So nothing right now. So the first thing that you're hearing is kind of this pinging noise in the left and right peripheral. So as what we're hearing right now is as you're getting closer and closer to the right side of the track there's a note that is speeding up in frequency as far as being played, not as far as pitch. So as we've got the solid line now, we're on the rightmost part of the track limit. So we start coming over to left. You're going to start hearing the painting effects speed up on the left side and it's slowing down on the right. And as we're now coming over to the left side, solid note, we're on the track limit there. So that's the first part. Second part is, as, you're, as you may have been noticing as I'm going left and right, the engine note isn't solidly straight up and down in the panning mix. So I'm kind of facing left, and the engine note's kind of in the right, telling me, hey, you should probably turn a little bit that way. So we're now facing the right a little bit. It's now telling me that I should turn left a bit. So the next one that you should be hearing in a moment is kind of like the rally notes where there is an, a narrator of some flavor that is letting you know, hey, just to let you know, this type of corner is coming up. So I got to get back into my rally notes to remember right one is basically 90 degree angle. Left five, right five is five pretty... It's pretty low key. So the last sound that you're gonna hear is that sound in the middle, that kind of high pitched pinging. And that's the deceleration cue saying, hey, you got a corner coming up, you need to start smashing on the brakes now. And it kind of fo follows this just suggested line a little bit there. So there are times Left where right you can off. kind of go Left full three. throttle through a corner and it's still pinging off on you. Uh, when you're not able to see I wouldn't necessarily trust that yet, unless you really know the track like the back of your hand here. For example. 
All right, so we've stopped here finally. So let's use this scarf here. So yes, a couple of you probably have noticed that this scarf has holes in it, but uh, I've doubled and tripled up on it. And if I try to open my eyes in the scarf, my eyes get itchy because of the walls. So trust me, my eyes are closed. I literally cannot see anything. Okay. Lord have mercy. Here we go. So I'll take it nice and slow to start with. So again, I'm following mainly the thing that you're listening to following is the sound of the engine note. As long as it's straight up and down, you're good. As soon as it starts waving left and right, you should really be concerned. The interesting thing with all this is you will hear that constant painting of track limits left and right. And that's not... Thank you. And it's not really an issue because you can... go off track limits and you're fine yes you will hit a wall eventually but it's not like any huge problem so I'm hearing the engine is now straight up and down I hear that I'm kind of getting close to the left side of the track now the engine notes really going off to the right now we're back central so I think I'm gonna start gradually putting the power down I'm right on so my engine note was kind of straight up and down there for a moment but again the track limits was telling me I was right on the left side now we're really supposed to come over here I guess I don't know I don't even know where I am in the track I don't know this track at all so I wanted to see if I could do a couple of laps to see what my best blind time is per se and then kind of come back later and do my best visual time. So the thing that I really wish that they would have is like a lap. Right hairpin long. Like a, a counter or something to let me know like um, necessarily when the lap's over. Because I'm not entirely sure half the time. Because I'm just kind of driving aimlessly. Right five. The only time I know when a lap is over is when I'm hearing like right, what is it? Left five into right five. Cause that's the only audio cue, ow, that I can really recognize and want to hear that again. And it's like, okay, then I think that that's been a lap, but again, I'm not sure. So again, as you can tell, by all of this, if you are normally visually, ow, what the hell did I just hit? <laughs> no, I was going to say, if you are normally able to see quite well, I'll tell you one thing. I take that for granted. I really do. Because this is incredibly difficult. And it's going to take more than a couple of laps on a circuit that you know well to be brave. On a circuit that you have no idea what's going on, good luck. So, for those who are able to watch this video and enjoy it, you're lucky. And like I said, it's just something that you don't really think about because you're just left four into right hairpin. Long. You just have Left's eyesight, three. and that's just what you do. So I I am absolutely astounded that turn ten was able to make this. This is honestly super cool. Again, I can't. I don't know what's going on, but. I can tell that I'm kind of staying on the track, which was more than I thought was possible. So as many people are angry for 
Sports and Motorsport getting the best racing game award of the year. I think the accessibility award was well deserved because this is just, again, it is just mind bendingly crazy to think that I physically am unable to see right now and I'm just driving. And for the most part, I'm staying on the track. Because I can collect myself there after knowing that I fell off. Left five into the right five. And I think there's a straightaway at the end of this. There we go. This is... I'm going... Uh-oh. I was going to say, I am going like 100 miles an hour down a straight. Blind. Oh, oh, oh. Stop, stop, stop. There we go. Left four into right hairpin long. Left three. Straight again. Kind of. No, that's to the right. Let me know when the lap's over. I honestly couldn't tell you. Right hairpin lawn. Okay, right hairpin lawn. Gonna take a. I'm gonna. I think that's the beginning of the lap. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, there we are. That was the lap. Okay. So we know my best blind time is two minutes point eight three three. So now that I can see again, let's see uh, what my best visual time is and the thing that I've noticed immediately is that by being able to compare and contrast from the little bit of driving is that deceleration right there is when you first hear it when you're completely blind you hear it and you go, oh man, I gotta step on the brakes right now. But I can imagine that you could just take certain corners flat out and it doesn't even matter. But yeah, I really need to get good at learning rally notes and when the narrator says that I need to be able to like actually listen and say okay they said right three into right one or whatever and be able to know okay so that's coming up here and then that part's coming up there you know left four into right hairpin long left three and that car level thing oh man I need to get rid of that or something Also, this car understeers horribly. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. So that's one lap. One minute, 35 seconds, 
0.474. Now I'm going to see if I can stay on the track this time. No, I guess not. <laughs> so what's crazy to me is that my fastest blind time was two minutes and the first lap that I had right after that was only 25 seconds faster. Only. And if I had to do that race without any of those audio cues, there is not a single way I would be able to stay either on the track or even complete a lap because I'd be completely blind. So turn 10. This is amazing what the work you guys have put into the accessibility options because now that means literally anyone can play a racing game now if you have wheel or a controller just anyone can play it so it's just it's super enlightening to be able to see what happens when you aren't able to see it's something that like i said earlier is something that i take for granted and i think about every now and again like what would happen if i lose my eyesight what would i do being a music major sometimes i think the other direction say what would happen if i lose my hearing well right there tells you how reliant and how good your hearing can be in place of your eyesight so again turn 10 wow 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 that is super cool so let me know down in the comment section below if you guys wanted to try out this challenge for yourself and how well that went and tell me i don't know stories of people that you know that have disabilities where technology like this has improved their lives so again thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this content make sure to like comment and subscribe sorry for rambling so much i had a blast with this video so if you guys enjoy this again make sure to like comment and subscribe and again thanks so much for watching we'll see see huh, you guys in the next video take care bye